um, Nona Prince asked. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> a kind you know, I have talked to him. I have like interacted, I have session with him, but still it feels. Oh. Okay. Continuation of the same question. He says, is it the audience's job to do homework regarding the history and the novel before watching a film like this? Or the film needs to make them clearly understand the world and its characters without assuming they know anything? Just one thing I want to add. I think this is the Twitter question in YouTube in the thing they asked. I even added about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which technically is an awesome film. It's sound, everything. But I just don't connect with the film. I don't understand I don't know anything about the time, whatever they are trying to show. And it's like a different take on what really happened. So I don't know anything about it. So I just didn't, couldn't connect with the film. Whereas there are a few moments which are like acting wise. Oh my God, that's a really cool scene. But I don't get the whole movie. Uh, so I, okay, just adding that. But let's, oh, let's go back a bit. Okay. Or the film needs to make them clearly understand the world and its characters without assuming they know anything. No, it is not the audience's job to kind of you know, do a crash course on anything. It's the film's duty to give all this information. Okay. But as I just said, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, the names are, uh, are are a little daunting for people who don't know the novel, maybe it's not such a bad idea to kind of, you know, just, just get a brief, like, summary from, you know, there's so many places on Wikipedia and other things that are giving you the thing. Now, I'll give an example of Lord of the Rings, right? Uh, yeah. You know, you have hobbits, you have something else, you have something else. Now, a person who's not going uh, into, uh, who's going into that movie without reading Tolkien, he's going to like, what are orcs, you know, what are hobbits, you know, what are elves we probably know. But then, you know, what is, why is Frodo Baggins? What is Gandalf the Grey? Why does he become Gandalf the White? You know, all these things are highly compressed in that movie. And you have a movie that has as much dialogue as visuals. Uh, so I'm saying that, that, you know, there is nothing wrong in, you kind of just doing a little bit of a crash course simply because of the names and probably because, you know, sometimes when we follow a movie in a different language, uh, the faces are not familiar to us. You know, sometimes when the faces are familiar yeah, that's, to us... That's true, that's true. Sometimes I even thought, have I seen this character before or is it a new character? It happened a lot while watching the film. And I am someone who has been following Southern cinema for a long time. I've seen a lot of films, like not many, but still a enough amount. So I should be still able to catch on these things. But, you know, it's hard. You know, and, and then we immediately attach that face to that yeah. particular character. And sometimes that doesn't happen when you're watching a film in another language. Maybe that's a bit of a problem. But I really don't think that, that uh, no, you are not supposed to do the homework. But I think that this film does, you know, not require to do, do the homework as long as you are paying attention. Uh, <laughs> I really thought he's going to troll me. But okay. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that I think makes sense. After that, I feel much better. Now, I reacted to the whole Q&A. And if you want to watch that, you can check it out here. Again, if you like this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.